Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Last time we got started going here through Ilanibi, I think is the name of the place, and we are trying to... What are we trying to accomplish? We are... Hmm. Hmm, 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 Let's see. We're... We're doing something here. We're killing a, per a certain person, I think, or maybe we're just investigating the place. I can't remember, but we're here. And we started making our way through. And we have fought a few things in here. It is just bright enough in my house that it's actually hard to see in this cave. So that's the door we were about to go through. We came from that way. And if we go up here, oh, there's another door up there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go along here. This place is a little bit of a maze. And, of course, there are no um, floating waypoint markers like I'm used to in Skyrim here in this game, or even in Oblivion for that matter, so, uh, yeah, those were not a thing at this point. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. I hate these guys because, first of all, they're mages, and mages hurt the most out of anything I fight. Second of all, it forces me to charge at them as quickly as possible to close the distance, which also uses, also uses very valuable fatigue, which I need to be able to hit them successfully. So, and as you can see, they hit pretty hard, those spells. So let's just go ahead and uh, creep through here so I can keep my stamina. Eyes peeled for anything coming out after me. Also, this video is going to go up at the normal time, but a day later, and then an hour after this goes up, a Borderlands video will go up. Because I was not able to put this up the day it was supposed to go up. Thanks to, well, here's the thing. Um, the way my schedule is going right now, by the end of my days worked in a row, I will have worked eight days in a row. And almost all of those... All but one will have been closing shifts. So, uh, yeah. Um, I've been very, 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 very busy at work. And I uh, come home very late. And I'm tired. And it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a mess. But getting through it, you know. Um, so apologies, apologies there. This looks like the entrance. How did this happen? How did this happen to me? Because I'm pretty sure I remember that room with the dead adventurer in there sitting in that particular spot. I guess I went that way when I came in here. So, I mean, let me see if the map is a little bit revealing. Um, okay, yeah, so there's a door, like, on each side. So I guess the other door that I looked at and said we'll go through later, I guess we're going to go through that now, because this just took me back to the beginning. All right, well, I'm also using all my stamina right now while I try to run back here real quick. There we go. Alright, now we'll walk again. Yeah, sort of. Oh, well, well, it's a little sensitive. There's no, like, walk button. I just have to gingerly hold the left stick forward ever so slightly. I want to make sure I have stamina in case there's something mean right on the other side of this door. Tainted marrow. Okay. Hello. So you don't cast spells, do you? No, you're just like a zombie. Hiya. 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 Kneecapped him. <laughs> um. Alright, what else? That was pretty straightforward. The Ash Slaves, man. I hate the Ash Slaves. Ash Slaves. They're really... Oh, not the high ground. I hope there's nothing up there because I can't expect to hit them with a bow or a crossbow, whatever I have, because I don't have good marksman skill. Hi there! Ash slave. Yeah. Ah, oh, good. I do hit him. Ash salts. Thank you very much. Heal up. I like to use the heal as soon as I can, so that way, while I'm not needing it, it can be recharging. The robes, I mean, they can be recharging while I'm not using it. Is this a dead scamp? Yeah, so I've been through here. Well, where the hell am I now? Alright, so I came from that way. I went up Carcass of the Saint. I went up that way, pretty sure. Well, what's over here? I haven't been this way yet, apparently. <laughs> Nothing. Alright. Uh, hmm. I feel like, yeah, I've been through all of that. That's Marowak's spine again. So, let's try to go... Try to go up this way, I guess. 
What is this? This is a carcass of the saint. Have I been up here yet? I don't know. Let's see. Where's this? Ah! Hi. I guess not. Is it a freaking enemy here? This one's tougher than the other guys. There we go. Alright. Heal. And heal. And yeah, one more. Just give that robe as much time to charge as possible. <laughs> I've been through here, apparently. According to the map, at least. This looks an awful lot like the starting area. This is the starting area. Because that's the way out. So where the hell am I... What am I doing in here? Alright. Um, find a sixth house base near Narmok. There I must seek a kill a sixth house priest named Dagothgar is. And bring the spy master a full report on the sixth house base. But first I need to speak to... Uh, Okay, the patrol fought cultists and a half-man creature named Dagoth Gares killed all the patrol but sent one survivor about awakened sleepers in Lord Dagoth Ur. So I haven't actually found that guy yet. We're back here in the first room. So, Targus of Descent is the starting room. Marowak's spine is on the other side. Tainted Marrow is like adjacent to Marowak's spine. Um, hmm. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Where shall we try next? Let's try to, let's see, let's head down that way. It looks like there might be some pads over there that I could try to go down. Yes, I know I'm running a little bit here, but... I want to find where I need to go. Is that a door right there? No. Okay, it's really dark. Well, it's not so much dark as it is. There's a bit of glare on my screen right now. It's, like I said before, it's surprisingly bright in my house, despite all the blinds being closed. They're letting a significant amount of light in. So, what, this way? There doesn't, there's nothing over here, though. So, where are we looking here? Is it underwater? Is it... Is it like an underwater doorway or something? What am I looking for here at this point, dude? Alright, I guess we'll go around to the back of this place. I probably missed a tunnel or something somewhere. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, we're back in Marowak's spine again. Let's see. Oh, there's a tunnel I haven't been down. To the left over here. Uh, or have I? It's just a little room. I could have sworn I went in this room. It didn't uncover it on the map, though. Alright, there's that. Well, is there anything up on that side? Yeah. Oh, there's a door. And it looks like I haven't been over there yet. Okay. Well... <laughs> let's see where this goes. Blackened heart. Yeah, that's new. Okay, let's uh, let's get a little bit of fatigue here, real quick, and just let that come back. Um, let me move the cursor off the time so I can see what time we're at. There we go. <clears throat> All right, good enough. Let's go. Blackened heart. Oh God, this is very red. Is that an enemy over there? No. Hiya. No, okay. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hi. 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 Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. Full stamina. Come on. Come on. There we go. Man, it's really hit or miss. No pun intended. Full stamina or not, you can just have a really bad time with that sometimes. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use the other heal. That was a little bit of a waste, but hopefully by the time I get into combat again, that will have come close to regenning that, that use of it. Oh boy, this is, oh god, this is a convoluted area here. <laughs> oh Jesus, this is, this is a maze. Oh, what is happening here? Ah, Jesus, okay. That one made me jump a little bit. Because all I heard was <laughs> all of a sudden. 
random sound of electricity as I'm suddenly going ooh and taking damage. <laughs> was not expecting that. Uh, oh, hello, scamp. These braziers look important. You don't have magic, do you? I don't think you do. I don't think they do. Scamp skin, sure. Take that. And just working my way up. How much, uh, speaking of charge and stuff, how much, how's my hammer doing? Not bad. Let's get the spark mauler for a little bit. I think this, uh, if it's anything like the other Elder Scrolls, like um, Oblivion and Skyrim, that is, and I think ES Online, I'm not sure, I haven't played that a lot, but if it's anything like that, then shock damage should take away from Magicka, which means I might have a better time against the Ash Slaves. Ah, case in point. You can dodge the attacks, because they are pretty slow, and they, they lead you based on your current linear motion, so if you just change as soon as they release the spell, you can dodge it. Change direction, I mean. <clears throat> All right, robes are getting a little low. I may, oh boy, I may take a moment soon to let them recharge. Um, hmm, I can't rest here. Dang it. I mean, I'm not close to dying or anything. Like, it's not a desperate situation. <coughs> oh, hello. Yeah, if you could just, like, do this a little bit, you can usually get around it. Yeah. Die. There we go. Ash salts. Thank you very much. Another little random room, of which there appears to be another on the other side of the wall, according to the mini-map. Which, quite frankly, is far more helpful than the actual map. I should not sprint through here like this. There. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So I'm getting to a point now where I'm fighting... A little too much all at once. Hey, blunt weapon skill increased. That's good. That'll help me. Do, 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 do. Ah, dang it. There's still enemies nearby. Oh, yeah. Hello. Dreamer. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So here's that other little room I spotted on. Oh, oh. The Sixth House greets you, Lord Nerevar, or Nubia as you call yourself. I am known as Dagoth Gares, priest of the Ilunibi, sh uh, Ilunibi Shrine, and ma minister to Sixth House servants. My Lord Dagoth Ur has informed me of your coming. I wish that this time you had come to honor your Lord's friendship, not to betray it. Uh, the Ilunibi, Ilunibi Shrine? It's just a small, quiet retreat for Sixth House servants, a place to contemplate and grow strong and wise in Lord Dagoth's ways. Here we share the sacraments of flesh and blood and dream the dreams of our Lord. This and other lesser shrines are hidden from prying eyes throughout the land, but the greatest shrines of Sixth House servants lie beneath Red Mountain, in the citadels of our Lord and his close kin. Ah. Dagoth Ur. Is the awakened lord of the Sixth House come to cast down false gods, drive foreigners from the land, and restore the ancient glory of Morrowind? He bids you come to Red Mountain for the friendship and honor that once you shared. He would grant you counsel and power, if only you would pledge that friendship anew. The path to Red Mountain is long and filled with danger, but if you are worthy, you will find there wisdom, a firm friend, and all the power you need to set the world aright. Uh was not dead, but only sleeping. Now it wakes from its long dream, and with its lord, Dagother, it comes forth to free Morrowind of its foreign rulers and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Veloth will build a new garden of plenty in this blighted wasteland. Lord's friendship. Um, <laughs> Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace and in war, Yet beneath Red Mountain you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound me by oath to defend. But remembering our old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. Hmm. 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 I am not your Lord Dagoth, uh, yet I, too, would say to you, do you come with weapons to strike me down, or would you put away your weapon and join me in friendship? Um, I'll probably strike you down, to be honest. Uh... Let's see, forgive the rude welcome, but un until you have declared for us, we must treat you as our enemy. The sleepers and dreamers are newly come to Lord Dagoth and not yet blessed with his power, but the, the children of his flesh, they are deep in the heart of his mysteries. 
their bodies swell to contain his glory and to yield the rich sacraments of our Lord's feasts. And we are the least of his servants, for ash poets, ascended sleepers, and ash vampires stand high above us in the Lord's bountiful grace. <clears throat> Lord Dagoth would far rather have you as our friend than as an enemy, but until you submit to him, six house servants will treat you as an enemy and try to destroy you. If you wish to be our friend, first you must go to Lord Dagoth in his citadel on Red Mountain and make your submission. Ah. So you're still going to try and kill me, huh? Yep, sure are. You hurt less than the Ash Slaves do. See, look, I got his Magicka down, now he's using his fists. Oh, that was awesome! With his dying breath, Dagos Garrus smiles and curses you. Even, have my, even, ask my, bleh, even as my master wills, you shall come to him in his flesh and of his flesh. <clears throat> oh, what does this do? Drain personality, 20 points. Well, that's boring. Message from Dagoth Ur. Uh, info, can I, can I like, read that? <clears throat> there we go. Once we are friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace ending war, no houseman ever served you better or more faithfully. Much that I did was at your command, at great cost to myself and my honor. Yet beneath Red Mountain you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound my you bound me by oath to defend. It was a cruel blow, a bitter betrayal, and to be felled by your hand. But remembering our old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. The sixth house was not dead, but only sleeping. Now we wake from our long dream, coming forth to free Morrowind of foreign rulers and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Veloth will build a new... A garden of plenty in this blighted wasteland. Come to Red Mountain, old friend, for the fellowship and honor that once we shared. I would grant you counsel and power, if only you would pledge that friendship anew. The path to Red Mountain is long and filled with danger, but if you are worthy, you will find there wisdom, a firm friend, and all the power you need to start the world to set the world aright. <clears throat> man, oh man, that's crazy. Oh God, look at that. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh shit. Why is my why are my robes unequipped? What happened there? There we go. Um we guess nope. Um wow, what do I have going on up here? Corpus. Okay. Drain attribute. Oh, not much. Okay. And fortify those other things. Huh, that is interesting. Um what are you? I can't interact with it. Can't interact with any of these. Hmm. It's pretty crazy looking. A bell. Hmm. Well, it's no guitar, but pretty neat. <laughs> um. What do we have over here? Whoa, whoa! Look at all the stuff in here. Hold on, I don't have like a lantern or anything. Common pants, another one of those amulets. It's extremely valuable. Common belt, pauldron, twenty-seven. Uh, left pauldron, twenty-seven. Oh God. So wait, those are shoulder pieces, aren't they? So could I wear those too? Hang on, let's. Let's take them and try them out. Oh yeah! Hey, look at that! Cool! I got more armor. Um, what is that? What is that down there? It looks like an amulet. Oh, common amulet, yeah. What the? Oh, there's a robe underneath there too. Okay. Iron tower shield. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep sticking with medium armor, I think. Whoa. What is this? Can I take this? I wanna interact with this. I wanna do something with it. Um, hmm. Uh, oh, look, there's more stuff over there. Ah, not that way, this way. Did I, was I seeing something, or was there something on the ground? Was I just imagining that? Hang on, if I was back here... It looks, yeah, see? Like, I don't know if that's underneath it, or if it's just clipping through the bottom. Or what? It could be, like, that one there. It's just, oh yeah, here we go. They were behind it. Fist of Randagolf, left gauntlet. 
Right gauntlet. Fortify. Oh my god. Dude. Yeah. I want those. Staff. Are staffs magic in this in this game? I don't know. Ooh, an armor's hammer? Oh jeez. That's what I, you know, I was kind of expecting there. So would those gauntlets replace my bracers? Because that'd be... They're heavy. I don't... They're heavy armor. I don't know if I want to do that, but, I mean, they're really good. Agility. Oh, my God, really? Oh, yeah, no, they are replacing the bracers. Um, you know what? We're going to do it because I really need... Oh, my God, my carrying capacity just... Oh, look at my glowing hands! Look at me! Wait, wait, wait. Look at that! Oh, my God, I look awesome. Wait, I want to take off... Let's take off the robe just for a moment. Dude, look at me. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. Yeah, totally worth it. Totally worth having heavy armor instead of medium just on the gauntlets. Absolutely worth it. If the robe wasn't so awesome, I would probably leave this unequipped too. Um, but, yeah, man, oh man. Elemental Burst Frost. That's pretty awesome. We're going to take it, of course. Well, this was amazing. Plus agility and plus strength. So, plus a ton of damage and carrying capacity. And also plus... Oh, uh, I get a little more health as well, I think. Uh, oh, more fatigue. Jeez, that's awesome. And then my agility is up by 20 points. So, I have even more fatigue and a better chance of hitting my targets. This is amazing. Now I'm having a good time. <laughs> now I'm getting some equipment. That means I can actually like play the game and not have to deal too much with RNG. Well, I'm still always dealing with RNG, but like you know, I can I can tip it in my favor significantly now. So that is awesome. And he didn't like have anything else there. Nope. <clears throat> well, this was cool. Wow, I just, I, even looking at my fatigue right now as I'm running around, I can just notice that it's going down way slower. I, it's, I can just, I can see that it's it's taking a lot longer to go down. That's how much more fatigue I have right now. This is awesome. Maybe I should switch to heavy armor, but I don't know. I mean, let's see. Um, stats, right? So there's, oh yeah, medium armor is a skill that I'm working on. Heavy armor is not. So if I started using heavy armor all of a sudden... Uh, it wouldn't probably be better than what I'm using medium armor right now, I don't think. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, I would have to, I would have to, like, train heavy armor or something, which, you know. Um, <laughs> I do have long blade on here. I could start using long blade. Excuse me, long blade, but... I don't know. Um, that was a pretty awesome find of stuff, though. I'm here. I might as well go ahead and finish clearing this place. I mean, where else Where else haven't I been yet? To the left here? I gotta go to the left. And the right, for that matter. Well, let's go left first. Never mind. That's a dead end. What about right? Have I been over here? I don't think so. Oh, I must have, because there's a dead thing here. Yeah, okay, so I've been there. That's a dead end. There's nothing behind me. Um, let's go this way now. I guess I need to turn left here. Let's see what's over here. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like... I know it's not true, but I sure feel like I will never miss with this thing ever again. Just, I have so much going for me in terms of my chance to hit a target. Even at, like, half fatigue. Look at that! Look at that! I just hit, like, four times in a row. You know, between the two enemies combined, but still, that's awesome. Now I'm actually having fun with the game because I get to I get to just bypass the annoying combat that I hate. <laughs> it's the only thing I didn't like about this, and now I get to skip it pretty much. This is great. <laughs> I might go ahead and train up heavy armor if I can find a heavy armor trainer. I might go ahead and do it. I mean, at least it would protect me better. And I'm using a hammer anyways, which is a really heavy weapon. So, heavy weapon, heavy armor, it just makes sense, you know? I mean, now what's over here? This is... Oh, boy. Where is this? This is Marowak Spine over here? Tainted Marrow. So, not quite. Um, to get up to... 
I want to get out, I go there. Okay. It's basically just stay straight through any intersections I find. And just try to head north-ish for the most part. Everything in here should be dead now. So, you know. And at this point, I'm pretty sure we have checked every tunnel. So, and if not, if we missed one, then eh, whatever. We spent a lot of time in here. And we did what we came to do, and we got some awesome freaking loot. I cannot believe how much my carrying capacity is just because I have such high strength. Is there a limit to how high those can go? Like, surely they max out at 100 or something, naturally, and then you can buff them further. But, like, man. Oh, you're, what? You must have respawned already. Ow, stop that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. <clears throat> That's interesting. Um, let's go ahead and heal up here and then heal up again. Now my robes are starting to get a little outdated because I have more health than I used to. Oh god, hi. Why? Yeah, they're respawning. This is not cool. Alright, no fatigue. It's still less than ideal. It reduces my chance to hit anything by like a quarter. Which is bad. Really bad. <clears throat> I can, yeah, I can see that even my robes are healing, well, they're healing less percent because I have more maximum hit points. But hey, I'm not complaining about having more maximum hit points, that's not a bad thing. And I'll take it all day long. Any more a-holes want to come and attack me before I leave? No? Good. <clears throat> now getting out of here is going to be interesting because I don't know how we're going to pull it off. I think we go over here. And try to like run up past all this stuff. There we go. It, 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 there we go. <laughs> there we are. Car tag points. Back out into sunlight, hopefully. Hopefully it's daytime. Hey, hey, sun. Rat, please. Think you're cool? Well, you're tiny, apparently, which is making it hard to hit you or something. <laughs> um. These things were worth a good bit, right? Yeah, coat of flowers. Coat of flowers are worth a good little bit. <clears throat> Those are not. <laughs> Let's see. No. Uh, no. Oh, who's that over there? Is that an enemy standing over there? Or friendly? Or who? Who is you? Who is you? Hi there. Dreamer. No time for talk now. Go. <coughs> We have you in our discerning eye, newbie. We see you waking and sleeping. Discerning eye. My starkest madness seeming is... What? My starkest madness seeming is divinest sense. Come, grasp the chain and prove your sane. Okay. Kind of expected him to, like, attack me, but I'm not complaining that he isn't. Boy, this is all, like, right next to Narmok, and no one from Narmok has been attacked or... Corpusized by these by this at all? Really? It's pretty surprising. Um, that's not worth anything. Ah, uh, I better, guess I better find a shop and start selling stuff because I am real full now. And a lot of things here. Oh, cliff racer over there! Watch out for the cliff racer, guys. They're they're a bunch of mean little jerks. Hmm. <laughs> There must be a shop here, right? Well, maybe not. It's a, t a small town. Is there a shop around here? No. How about over here? Mm, no. How about here? No. I guess there's not a shop in this town. Hmm. Alrighty then. Let me go deal with this cliff racer. Man, I feel unstoppable now, dude, with these new gauntlets. Come here, you. Oh, diseased cliff racer. Don't hit me too many times and get me sick. There we go. Let me make sure I'm still mostly okay here. Yeah, all these skills are being drained by like one from the corpus, but it's not it's not a big deal. Um It's one, you know, my strength is drained by twenty and it doesn't tell me why that I start getting annoyed. Two hundred and fifty six maximum fatigue? Oh my god. That's craziness. 475 carry weight. That seems really unnecessary, but awesome all at once. Um, all right. Well, we're at about 30 minutes here, so I think we'll call it an episode. A very fun episode at that. A good, 
a good, successful, progressive episode. We made some good progress, I mean. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry that I didn't get this out yesterday, but, uh, you know, work very busy. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one with my new shiny gloves.